Rafael Malo Alcrudo en you are the tajadera del tío Roy in the Masters welcome it's early morning here and it's a nice cool morning and the dogs have just been let out of the kennels and we'll be going over there later to see the dogs and to have an interview with Rafael and to learn all about the history and what the dogs are doing in Spain the dogs are have been let out in the yard and there's about 15 dogs down there, some males, some females, and some are the parents of our dogs in America. Wow. <laughs> No, 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 no. Be nice. Be nice. No biting. Okay, you have to... um, we're, here, we're here in the compound of the Pyrenean Mastiffs of Tajadera del Tio Roy. And I have one of the Mastiffs here with me. Um, I'm not sure which one. What the... Rafael, what is the name of this one? Bingo. This is Bingo. And... Uh, a very big dog. Uh, what is the name of this dog? Uh, it's Dimas. Okay. Is, uh, his name. It's, okay. Uh, He's a very big dog. Uh, how tall is he? He is now 84 centimeters, but then. He's still a puppy, and he needs uh, still two years to be developed completely. So it takes about two years before they're full yes, grown, yes, and then yes. after they grow out the way? Exactly. Okay, so they gain weight later on. Um, what, who are his parents? It's, uh, both of them are, was a Spanish champion. Spanish uh, champion. One was Ulises del Castillo de Lee and Tamar Angustias de la Tajadera del Tío Roy. Okay. And then... Uh, this is something important because the Pyrenean Mastiff is a very primitive breed, and so they need more time than other breeds to be completely made. Okay, this is very interesting. Um, do they have a very good appetite? Do they eat well? Yes, uh, especially in winter, because in summer they, they don't eat so much. Not so much in the summertime, yeah. okay. But in, in winter, especially when they are growing at this one, they have uh, a very good appetite. Really. What type of dog food you feed? High, high protein? Uh, Dog food? It depends. We, we give a, a special uh, food for every age of the dogs. The puppies eat a kind of uh, food with more protein and less uh, calories and more vitamins and calcium. Right. And the grown-ups, uh, another food with less uh, prote uh, protein but uh, with more fiber and I see. Uh, different uh, I see. Has this uh, male here been to show yet or no? No, no, not, no, no. Yet. Not, not yet. Well, uh, he was when uh, he was a puppy in the last club show. He was the best uh, puppy in okay. the show. Okay. But then 
when in the puppy class I never think that it's a real competition. Right, right. What would you say the most important thing for somebody choosing a Pyrenean Mastiff puppy would be to look for? That, that, uh, first of all, that they must be, uh, as I have said, rustic, primitive, and healthy. But healthy not only in the body, but only in the, uh, also in the mind. Right. You can see this puppy don't know you, right. and, and he's here and wants to play with you, and so then we want healthy dogs in body and in mind. Right, right. What would you say would be a, a major fault in, 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 in when you're picking a dog in the breed? Yeah, it's, um, for example, the, the weak character, the weak uh, bone, yes. and bad construction. Okay. That's it, because our, our dogs, our dogs uh, must be big, but not only big in this size. Okay. We we, uh, we like more because because it's more functional. They, they are of course big, but also wide. Right. Very strong construction. Okay. Okay. Is there a, pr a preferred color, uh, a color, coat color markings that that people? Particularly, I like very much white and gray, but also white and gold is uh, very attractive. Okay. White and sand, white and black. Uh, white. Okay, very interesting. Who, who is this uh, dog here? This is a half sister of him. It's a bitch, about uh, one year and a half. Okay. And then the father is the same and the mother is uh, different. Okay. Is she about a normal size for a, a female of this, this yes. age? Yes. This is one of my of the best dogs I ever have bred. Uh, his name is Javier Demetrio, and then he's a male of about three years. He has been uh, he's champion of Spain. He has been uh, European champion too, and he's one of the of the best dogs in this moment. He has a magnificent uh, head and a very good bone, Javi. And he he has a, a very nice character too, and a fantastic move, uh, way of moving. Then anyway, the perfect dog don't exist, and I would like if the coat of Javier was thicker and not so rusted. So Javier, Javier, ven aquí, Javi, ven aquí. But when you judge a dog. Uh, you must judge all the good things of the of a dog, not only the mistakes. The mistakes is very easy, and then this dog has a, l a lot of good uh, things, uh, mm, things that we are uh, really searching on the breed. And then he has uh, this little uh, mistake, and then when we are using him as male, then we try to find a bitch who has not this mistake. Javi. Now, uh, uh, Javi, Javi, sube, Javi, 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 he don't like, he don't like, this, this is another young uh, dog, about uh, 15 months, very good build already, but not a male still, and then the interesting of this dog is uh, the color, it's not a, a very usual color. Anyway, it is completely allowed. Many people like this uh, coat, white and golden, and then it's so typical as the rest of the coats. So this is a, a dog that probably uh, next year will go to Norway, and in two years he, he will come back to Spain to make the Spanish championship. Here we have a puppy, a beach puppy, about uh, five months. But then you see, we see the same color of the dog before. But then the form of the head of this bitch is not perfect. We like the muscle much deeper and the head more powerful. We can say that she's, of course, a Pyrenean Mastiff, but it's not exactly what we are looking for. Uh, and what we are looking for is exactly the traditional dog of the last century in in the, in the Spanish Pyrenees. Okay. This is my oldest uh, dog in this moment. She's a bitch about near eight years. Uh, 
Usually the life of the Pyrenean Mastiffs is about uh, 12 years. They are healthy, a healthy breed. But then sometimes when my dogs are six years old, many times I send them to another country so they can help to the national reconstruction of the Pyrenean Mastiff in every country. But she's one of my favorites and she's one of the more important bitches in the breed history. For us, it's the more important of all is the temperament of the dogs. We don't want to make only beautiful dogs because there is a lot of beautiful breeds in the world. But we want to make uh, really useful dogs, healthy as I have told before, and useful dogs. Now things that many of the Pyrenea Mastiff are excellent watch dogs in Spain and out of Spain, and also many of them accompany the, the, the sheep in the mountains up in the Pyrenees. So our selection, the selection of the P Spanish uh, Mastiff Club is uh, in the direction to make useful dogs and, and that is our, our daily fight. This is the, the, the character we want, that they are happy and spontaneous. Hi guys, hi. You are such a pretty girl. Oh, you're so pretty. Yes, yes, you're, you're very friendly. You're very friendly. This is the place where we have the puppies in this uh, box, but they, uh, they have seen Karin and for the first time in their lives, and they are so friendly and want to play with her. And it's this, I said, that they are not afraid of her. This is very important. If they will be barking or it will be a sign that they, are, they, are, they have not a good temperament. You see, here you have a young bitch almost completely white. In reality, he's not white, he's white and sand, but the mask is very slight. This in a show uh, is a problem, but uh, this beach has so many good things that uh, and, and many, many people have uh, has wanted to get her, but I have kept for myself because she has so many good things that I uh, want to use, it, to use her as mother, because uh, in a spit of the color, the rest of the of the um, of the beach is really very interesting. So sometimes the professional breeders um, are not um, watching only the obvious things, as for example the color, but uh, what? Uh, but we, we we must search really the fundamental things, as uh, this beach has even she never probably will be a Spanish champion. Um, when you're breeding the Pyrenean Mastiff, is there a certain color that you should put with another color to make the combination, or is anything accepted? No, it's, uh, you can put together all colors. 
because in this moment of, of the Pyrenean Mastiff selection, then we are taking care of the of the basic uh, characteristics, as I have uh, that is the, the, the temperament, the character, the size, etc., the good construction, because to to selection obvious things as the color that every any idiot can see that uh, this color is of one color and the other color. That in this moment, it will be a, a, um, a completely non necessary work. For, for in this moment, it's necessary to fix the real important characteristics. Right. So we will have time to, to selection the, the colors. But anyway, you have to think that from the white and sand to the um, black and white, all colors are admitted. Right. And not, it's not one of them better than, or, or worse. Only the, the red, the, the high, high, high red color is not so wizard. But the rest of the color is the same. So later on they might make, uh, let's say somebody has a litter and a puppy is born from a color we have never seen before, they might make a classification for this color later on? Yes, 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 of course. But then uh, in the standard it's very um, well described. It's uh, all color, of course, of course, be, uh, in, in two dogs exactly the same, we prefer the more clean color possible. Right. But then uh, the color is the last in this moment. Okay. Uh, it's more important to have all the rest of the traditional characteristics. Okay, now this, in the standard they say that the Pyrenean Mastiff must have well-defined markings of color. And yeah. I've noticed on certain dogs, some of the colors are more blended and yeah. marbled and yeah. not very well-defined. This is acceptable yeah. too? Exactly, because the standard, what the standard um, defines is an idealistic. Uh, um, the, the Pyrenean Mastiff number 10, let's say, of the movie, you remember? But then, this perfection is a, an utopy that you never reach, but in, in this breed and in, in any breed. But then, um, this standard, when we made the standard in the 82, then uh, in this cosmetic part, let's say, is something that we decide for ourselves, not because it was belonging to the tradition of the Pyrenean Mastiff. It is something that in the modern, mo in the, in the modern times, then we, we must decide in that moment which colors we, we will prefer. But, but 100 years ago, of course, it was all kind of colors in, okay. in our breed. Okay, now this brings me to the, uh, one last question on the issue of the dew claws. As we've seen with the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, especially in the United States or most of the countries, they must have the double dew claws. It is not so with the Pyrenean Mastiff. No, no, no. I, when I'm uh, breeding, uh, selecting my dogs and even judging, I never are watching the, the, the claws. Because is um, is this... The, uh, Every breed has something fundamental, yes. and and the rest, of course, can be important, yes. but uh, not functional aspect. No, okay. no, no. Okay, and thank you very much. You're welcome. The feet of the Pyrenean Mastiff should be wide, normally wider than the than another model, most breeds, and it is because of functional meaning. Because they are uh, in the past, in the when they was making their traditional job, they was needing a wide feet to be able to jump on the mountains and also uh, to be able to to resist during uh, weeks walking beside the, the ship. So uh, you must not judge this breed with the same criteria that uh, another model of breeds. So the Pyrenean Mastiff also in this is a different breed.
Akalanka. Better say, a piece, a little piece of a traditional Kalanka from the last century. This piece has more than 150 years of age. Then this, um, this color was necessary to be used for the Pyrenean Mastiff to be defended for the attacks of the wolves and the bears. Because being the Pyrenean Mastiff so extremely strong, the wolf was really, really, really very fast, even more fast than the Pyrenean Mastiff. But with this color, the Pyrenean Mastiff was unvenable. And then really all the fights against the wolves was uh, in the end with our Pyrenean Mastiff safe. Yeah, all right. This is the famous canal, El Paso del Oso, only Pyrenean Mastiffs. This is hypnosis, Karen. <laughs> Can, you, you may have uh, different colors in the same in the same litter. I see. Which uh, contributes to the diversity of the breed, which is one of the more interesting thing breeding up these this, uh, dogs. I see. And what color would you consider this female well, to be? We call this this color sand, uh, like the beach. Okay. And and this and, one. And that one is uh, again haspeado. It's a it's a mixture of gray and black. I see. Okay. of competition with the Pyrenean Mastiff. 
you know, in this room, uh, when I see all these remembrances I have told you, then I remember all my fight with this magnificent Spanish breed. This trophy, I have a particular fondness for it because it was my first best in show in the year 78 with an old friend, an old Pyrenean Mastiff called Thor. This is the symbol of the Spanish Pyrenean Mastiff Club that I founded in 1977. This is, as you see, the Spanish flag and the head of a typical Pyrenean Mastiff. When I start uh, with the Pyrenean Mastiff, my dream was that our breed was uh, an international, a very well-known breed. And then, and then when I see those trophies, that, as I have told many of them, bring me a very sweet remembrance. That one day in the USA, also many breeders have more trophies than this even. And then because it will mean that our dear beloved Pyrenean Mastiff is so popular in the USA than it is in Spain. And then in that day, I think that my idea and my dream will have triumph. It is a real pleasure to me to have these American visitors and then think that you have take some Pyrenean Mastiff to your country and then with them you have take a very big and very important part of the Spanish history and this is the more important that you take care of it. Thank you.